And today I'm on my way to church again and doing a reply to one of Dylan's vids again. This is a particularly interesting one because this is something I've thought about a lot being a science geek. It was this video about are we building God? And I think there's two races to our own destruction. And the first one is, which I think right now is the slower race, the race to build God is the slower race because I don't think we even have a basic concept of what self-awareness or consciousness would be for a, a computer or a mechanical system now. Eh, gotta use the choke, I guess. I thought it'd be warm enough to not have to use the choke at all. Guess not. And plus the fact if we were building a computer system or robots that were intelligent enough to um, it would probably be a problem identifying the exact point that they've reached self-awareness or consciousness as we human beings understand it and even if they did would it be a a new robot type of self-awareness or consciousness that's different than ours and you have to assume that after they even reached that point, would they really want to enslave us for our own good? That's a little bit effy too, so I think that has a little farther way to go unless we, we could possibly, one thing that would speed it up is if we could add some biological systems to it, have a computer, but instead of the processor chip just being electronic, have it be organic too, maybe experimenting with growing brain cells so that it would have that human component and maybe in that case we could short circuit the equation and, and make it run a little bit faster towards consciousness or self-awareness. That's the one way I think of we could produce a shortcut. But my scenario of how we're going to reach our own self-destruction. We already have everything we need to know about it. It's basically just engineering it to refine it and make it better. That's using computers to create our own little worlds where we're God. We already have that to an extent in the video game industry and just in the uh, 3D design kind of software where you can enter a world and have a certain amount of control over it. It's not in any case I've seen so far totally godlike where you, because you would have to not only be in the game as a player but you would also have to have pretty close to complete control of every aspect of the game the characters the play even the physics of the game but that's just a matter of uh, extending how well the game engine is and making it better every everything is in place except for just the engineering and the perfecting it making the graphics a bit better so we could have 3D graphics that were pretty close to indistinguishable from real life. And then you just slip on a helmet or a bodysuit or maybe get in a contraption of some kind to where you enter the world and you have all the same sensations. But once we reach the, the type of computing power to where we can do that. I mean, could you imagine how you could feed your ego? I mean, you could have the perfect girlfriend, the perfect wife, the perfect family, or um, if you didn't want a family, if uh, you had the perfect single life, whatever you'd uh, want that to be. The perfect job, you would be uh, the world you create, you would be the top celebrity couldn't walk down the street without people recognizing you and adoring you it's that feeds into the some of the worst parts of the human ego really when we have control of everything to do with our own destiny and uh, 
basically become God of our own world that was created for us. So I see of the two scenarios right now, that's the one I would bet on, the scenario of us entering some kind of a 3D world where we would make ourselves to be God. But who knows, it's a close race. I'd like to hear other people's opinions about what they think about that too. Or maybe there's a third scenario that I didn't think of that other people have uh, thought about that's along those lines, I mean. If we can't destroy ourselves in real life with atomic weapons and wars and stuff like that, let's uh, virtually destroy ourselves. Either through robots doing it for us that we built or through us doing it by becoming gods in our own mind. So anyway, I'm at church again. And uh, I will talk to you guys later.